Okay, so we are going to do some pruning of grapevines today, and we're going to start out with one of two ways to prune. We'll start out with cane pruning. So we have a couple of things that we need whenever we do pruning, especially for cane pruning. We need a loppers and a hand pruners, as well as safety wear for your eyes. So this can be sunglasses or safety glasses in the veneer. And a couple of things also when you're pruning is you want to make sure that you uh, have a scale for weighing your prunings as well as a rope that you can gather your prunings with. So we are going to do cane pruning of a vertically shoot positioned bilateral cane system today. And whenever we do pruning of a system like this, we have to look at renewing back to our renewal zone, and that's the head of this trunk. The top of the trunk is the head where all of our shoots originate from. Here is last year's cane that was laying down, and from that grows the shoots that we had last season. So this season we have to come in, we're going to remove about 90% of the vine in doing this, and we're going to select two new canes to lay out. So that means that we have to select those from this head area of the vine. So by looking at this, we want to choose two nicely formed shoots that are no smaller than the pencil diameter and has nice display of buds along the shoot. So right here closest to the head are two nice canes that came out last year. We have another nice one right here that we could use. So this old one from last year can come out completely. So I'm going to cut that out right here. And all of this down here has to be removed from the trellis. And you can do that by just grabbing and pulling firmly. So we have a shoot right here that grew last year. We've got one right here. We've got a lot of nice ones in the head so we can remove the other cane over here. So now we are down to where we need to make our decision on what we want to prune back. So we know we have to lay out two canes and we always prune back to one year old wood. This is all one year old wood here. The canes from last year that were laid out last spring are actually two year old wood. We don't want that. So we're going to lay out two canes. This one is nicely positioned. However, some of the inner nodes are quite long. So we have some others that we can choose from that might have a shorter inner node space. So this one right here might be a good choice for laying out on onto the wire. And this one over here will be my choice for laying onto this side of the wire. So that leaves us to tipping and tying the shoot. I'm going to cut it off at a node about halfway to the point of the next uh, vine space. I'm just going to wrap it around the trellis wire here for now, but we can tip and tie that later. And with this one right here, I'm going to do the same. Just wrap it around the wire. Usually just needs to be once. I just wanted to hold right now. And we see that we have a number of shoots in the head here that we want to take care of. We don't need all of these. We've got our cane out here, a cane out there. We can actually choose to leave uh, just two shoots so we can take out the other two so this one we won't need. And let's take out this one right here and leave two of them that are in the center or the head of the vine. And when we're doing this, now we have our two canes, we have two uh, extra shoots here. What we're going to do is cut those back to either two, two bud spurs or we can leave them. In this case of a frosty vineyard or a vineyard that has a spring frost, we will actually maybe want to leave these two as full canes until the early part of spring because they will be serving as kicker canes. Otherwise, we could come through and just cut those back to individual spurs down to about two count buds. 
So after you prune a vine, it's critical to do pruning weights. That is, if you're pruning reference vines for a vineyard block where you want to understand how much uh, vine size gain you had during the last growing season. And it's critical to get the pruning weights off of a one-year-old wood only. So this happens to be an old cane from this vine that I just pruned. And the cane that was laying out last year is actually two-year-old wood. We want to quantify the one-year-old wood weight only. So I'm going to cut the shoots off of this cane for my pruning weight estimation. You can do this while it's still on the vine or on the trellis, or you can do it once you've pulled out the cane. So you want to just gather all of those one-year-old wood pieces and we'll weigh those. Okay, so to do our pruning weights of vines, we basically want to gather that one-year-old wood into a bundle. And you can feel free to cut it into smaller pieces so that you can fit it into a nice neat bundle for weighing. You need a string to tie it in that bundle. And you need a hanging scale. And it's best to have as precise as possible. This happens to be a nice fishing scale that's waterproof and it can be measured in different units but up to uh, the hundredths decimal for pounds. And basically you want to weigh that total weight. And per this vine I would record 0.76 pounds. And then I would move on to my other reference vines to get an idea for this last growing season, how much grew in that one year. It's critical to take these measurements at a uh, different reference vines throughout the vineyard that you come back to each year and you compare those weights across the year. And that helps you understand how your management practices might be affecting that vine size during the growing season.